Welcome everyone. Jeff with Half Fast Gaming here. Starting a new series today on editing SII files. I know that doesn't really sound exciting to a lot of you. However, um, I am. This is the type of modder I am. I do a lot of research and. Um, I like numbers, and this game is full of numbers. Uh, obviously, this is for American Truck Simulator. And I've talked about before that uh, this game has two trucks available to start. Uh, neither of them particularly amazing, per se. However, um, SCS is leaning on the modding community, which has provided them with a lot of fuel since really their first games came out. Uh, they support the modding community, and that's very important in my eyes, of course. And if you're watching this, most likely yours as well. So, um, if you want to get into modding, um, you really need to do a couple of things. The first of which is get the ATS base files. Um, you do have them in your game. Um, that is, they're all there for you. You go into your Steam folder where you've installed it. Uh, and you can pull them out. They're all SCS files. I'll show you them right here. So you have Locale, DLC Nevada, DLC Peterbilt, DLC Kenworth, Def, Core, Base, Underscore, Config, and Base SCS, okay? So you're going to need to get a hold of the SCS extractor, which is this file down here. And essentially, you just take these files and you drag them in to the extractor. Okay, and that makes your folders, which are up here. All right, so today, um, we're going to make a transmission. Okay, I know that sounds complicated, but I can tell you it's less complicated than it is in real life. So let's navigate to where the transmission for the Kenworth T680 is, okay? So we're going to go to def, so that's definitions, vehicle, truck. Here you'll find the Kenworth, Kenworth.t80. Transmission. Now these are the stock transmissions in the game. Ten. 10 speed retarder, 13, 13 speed retarder, 18, 18 speed retarder, Allison, Allison retarder. So what I have open here, um, and this is Notepad++, plus plus, highly suggested that you use this program if you're going to be editing these files. Um, when you open them in standard Notepad in Windows, it does not break this up by line for you, like Notepad++ does. Um, I'll show you right now. When you open one of these in Notepad, it looks like that, which is a hell of a lot harder to read than that. Okay, so forewarning. Notepad++. I will leave a link in the description for you. Okay? So, it's come to my attention that the Allison transmission that they've included, which is the six-speed automatic, is for vocational trucks. Um, this game does not have any vocational trucks in it. Vocational meaning attached to a rigid body of some sort. Uh, a wrecker, um, a you know, 10-wheel dump truck, those types of things. So this transmission doesn't really 
apply in our case, okay? So I did a little research. I went over to allisontransmissions.com. Um, and of course, you can do this on your own. Very easy. Very straightforward. Everything in the SII file here, you just go in there and you straight up edit it. There's no, no funny business, no nothing. Very straightforward. And I'll show you how to pack it into a file so that you can then use it in your game. Okay? So I got a hold of my 10 speed information from the website. Right? I gave it an unlock, level 14, a price. I named it Allison TC 10 10 speed. Now, this isn't automatic, so it does have the stall torque ratio. So I've put that in there. Again, all information from the website um, has two reverse gears. As with most computer things, you always start with a zero, not one. So the first reverse gear is negative 16, second reverse gear is negative 11, and then you have all of your forward gears. Okay, so this is all data that's just taken from the website. I've just plugged it in, and as you can see from the other Allison, which only has six gears, zero through five, I just made six, seven, eight, nine, and plug those numbers right in. Okay. The only thing that changes with any of these, and it's funny that they don't include this in the game, but look at all these differential ratios. These are all rear end ratios um, that you can use in the game, but you can only use them if you change this number in the file. But, you know, I realize that modding is heavy, but I don't know why you wouldn't just put the other differential ratios in there yourself as the manufacturer. That being said, this is what we've done, okay? Uh, icon Transmission Generic. When you see anything with this icon, it means it's pulling a .dds file from uh, the UI folder. So unless you have created your own DDS file for um, a transmission, don't worry about this. Leave this the same. Okay? So this is how we've coded it. Right? So it is accessory underscore transmission underscore data space colon space allison underscore tc10 dot kenworth underscore t680 dot transmission and then you just write everything in these open and close brackets are very important it tells the game what to look for what things to apply to the transmission how many forward gears it has how many reverse gears it has so this is how this needs to be laid out okay and you can always compare it to the, any of the other transmissions in the game Granted, this is only transmissions, but this is exactly how every other file in this game looks. So here's what we're going to do. So we've edited this. I've put in all my numbers that I want. It's got a 3.55 rear end ratio. Here's the stall torque converter. So we've edited that. Everything's good. Now, we need to make this um, work in the game, okay? So this is what I like to do. Well, it's a def file, so we can start there. We're going to open the def file. Now, you're just follow following the... Um, folder structure right here. So def vehicle truck Kenworth transmission, right? So now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create new folder. Vehicle. Then we're going to open vehicle. Then we're going to create a new folder. We're going to type truck. Then we're going to open truck. We're going to make a new folder. We're going to type Kenworth 
dot t680. And we're going to open that. And we're going to make a new folder. We're going to type transmission. Of course, it helps if you spell transmission correctly. Okay. Here's our 10 speed Allison transmission. I'm going to pop that right in there. Actually, I want to copy that. Use it on another track if I want. Okay. Now, there it is. Everything we need is right in this def file. So now what do we do? How do we get into the game? You need 7-zip. You can use WinRAR too. I, I haven't used WinRAR for doing anything with ATS or ETS2. I only know 7-zip, so I can't tell you anything about WinRAR specifically. However, 7-zip built into the menu. So right-click diff 7-zip, add to archive. Now I put this on store, compression level store, archive format zip. Okay. You want to name it something that you will remember once you get into the mod folder. So Allison 10 speed Kenny, we'll call it. Okay. Um, That's it. That's done. Press OK. Now in theory, here it is. Allison 10 speed. Kenny.zip. We're going to take this. And pop it into our mod folder. There it is. Now... You can leave the zip file intact, but I just rename them SCS files. I know you don't have to anymore. That's just what I do. All right. So there it is. Allison 10 speed Kenny dot SCS. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go into the game and we're going to verify that it's working. All right, so we're going to go to Mod Manager. Allison 10 Speed Kenny. Confirm. Continue. So there's your Allison 6 speed right here. And there's your 10 speed. So that is how you build a transmission and get it into the game. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this start of the series here. And uh, next time we may take on something a little more challenging. So I hope you'll follow with me and uh, into ne the next part. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do next. Um, transmissions are pretty simple. Maybe we'll go into something a little more difficult. Um, at any rate, uh, thanks guys for watching. And make sure to uh, give us a like if you enjoyed this video. And we will see you next time on Half-Fast Gaming.